welcome to the Kessel Plant Laboratory. My name is Josh Puckett and I'd like to take you on a brief tour of our facilities. And our, uh, our plant lab consists of a thousand square feet and we have seven four by eight foot gr grow tents that we have partitioned into two giving us 14 four by four foot um, grow areas. Within each grow area we test multiple wavelengths, multiple light treatments, and different intensities with our ultimate goal being to find the optimal, optimal mixture of wavelengths and the optimal and most efficient intensities to promote vegetative growth and flower and fruit production. We're able to maintain consistency of photo periods and regulate the time of, that we allocate to, of light to each light treatment here with our lighting panels. We have two of these for the laboratory. We have surveillance cameras in many of the grow areas. These allow us to monitor the progress of the light treatments in our experiments as well as to develop and post time-lapse videos that we that are accessible on YouTube and through the internet. I'd like to share with you what some of the experiments that we are currently doing here at the lab. Let's take a look. As I mentioned before, we're testing different mixtures of wavelengths and different rates of intensity. Here we have a high intensity growth chamber where we are by increasing the intensity of the LEDs and accelerating the growth and controlling the height to which the plants grow. So as to help us evenly distribute the light, we use this uh, one of our rotating devices. One application that we have for the LEDs is a booster, as a booster LED. We're able to use them in conjunction with a conventional lighting source. Here, in this case, it is a 1,000 watt metal halide light hood. We have six tomatoes growing in this chamber, and the two to the right are experiencing different booster treatments. The one in the foreground has twice the amount of red booster LED. We're able to compare these with the other tomatoes on our left to get uh, as a control group, and that's how we formulate some of our results here at the lab. Vegetative promotion and fruit and flowering promotion are important parameters that we're studying. And here in this cube, if you'd have a look please, we have a flowering promotion and fruit production treatment. We again are using our rotator with six Kessel H150 purple LEDs and we are using a red booster LED in the my left corner here. This booster on the gooseneck is applying a different light treatment to one portion of the grow area and we are able to see what the effects of the introduction of this red light are by comparing it to those tomatoes growing in the opposite corner. Aside from tomatoes, we're growing basil and other crops here at the Kessel Plant Laboratory. We have three different treatments. On the left we have a magenta treatment, in the center a purple treatment, and to the right a blue treatment. We're comparing the results of these treatments on basil and studying their vegetative crop yield. What makes basil different from tomatoes is that we're not so interested in the fruit and flower production here, we're interested in the leaf and vegetative yield. So this is a good indicator plant for that production. Each of our grow rooms here in the laboratory are very uniform. Each has a fan to promote circulation. We have hygrometers and thermometers located in each room so that we can monitor and maintain consistency in the growing environment. And we have a ventilation system where all the cubes are linked together and we're able to keep consistent air movement in and out of the cubes. I'd like to thank you for coming by and taking a look here at our plant laboratory. You could give us your comments or keep up with discussions at a forum we have at monorad.com. You can check out our product at kessel.com and see some of our videos at youtube.com. Thanks again for coming by and I hope that you are 
as interested in LEDs and horticulture as we are.